There are times when we're feeling a lot. We experience strong emotions like worry or anger. And sitting at such times might be too harsh for us. It can be too drastic in terms of the strong whirlwind of feelings that we're experiencing. Walking with deep presence can be a soothing balm during these times. Gentle and accepting, it can really offer us nourishment and healing. You can do this walk at any pace, at any speed. What matters is the quality of your awareness in connecting deeply with your own body. And we connect deeply with our body from within our body. So it's not an external observation, but it's an inner felt sense. So we start by allowing ourselves to become fully embodied in our standing. Let yourself just stand for a moment. Have a really easy position. Your knees soft. A little gentle movement in your hips. You can allow them to sway or move a little if that's comfortable. Let your arms and hands hang, sensing their weight as they drop down from your shoulders. And then allow your awareness to sink through your torso, your hips, your legs, all the way down to your two feet. Aware of your two feet just as they are allowing the weight of your body to be evenly held between your two feet, sensing them holding your full weight, letting you stand upright. Then start to pour your weight into your right leg, gently filling your leg so that it's holding more and more of your body weight. And your left leg is doing less and less so that your left foot feels lighter and lighter, and the heel of your left foot could rise up just for a moment. Then equalize again, letting the weight of your body be held evenly between your two feet, and evenly by each foot as well, so that the toe end of your feet and the heel end, that the weight is distributed equally. So that you're feeling very grounded and solid in your footprints. Then begin to pour your weight into your left leg, allowing it to hold more and more weight. Your right leg contributing less and less until your right heel could just rise up for a moment. Then equalizing again finding this balance between our two feet. This very deep attention to our footprints is what we're aiming for when we walk. So you can start by allowing your weight to soak into your right leg again until your left foot is light enough to rise up, move through space and set itself down and create a footprint. Sensing your foot touching the earth and your weight following to fill your left leg until your right foot is light enough to take a step. You can do this at any pace. So step by step, sensing your foot making an impression against the earth, allowing this pouring of weight into one leg, a foot lifting up and moving through air, stepping onto the earth, touching the earth. The weight pouring in again so that your other foot feels light as air, lifts up, moves through space, touches the earth. And as your foot makes an impression against the earth, sensing what is created between your foot and the ground. This shape of footprint, this impression or seal. As each foot steps, you are making this imprint on the ground. 
And this imprint says everything about you in this moment. It really establishes you in this moment. It's a declaration that you are truly here, truly present for this moment of your life. Stepping into this moment, claiming it here and now. And because we're very used to walking, we can trust that our body knows how to do this. We don't need to be very strict with this. So you don't need to make much effort. In fact, you don't need to make any effort. Simply allowing this moving of weight, moving of a foot forward, touching the earth, allowing a sense of real ease in your living steps. Stepping, stepping. Keeping your awake attention on the footprint that is formed between your foot and the earth. Allowing this beautiful shape to be formed so perfectly and then allowing yourself to walk away from it. Allowing yourself to let it go so that you can continue on your path. Allowing a new, fresh footprint to form. Different experience. A new you in this moment. Every step, a new you. Step after step. Distraction may come up from time to time. You may notice that you followed a thought away from your body and your steps. And that's okay. All you need to do is draw yourself home again. Bring yourself deeply back inside your body. Dropping down through your torso, your hips, your legs, all the way down to rest again in the soles of your feet. Allowing this impression against the earth, this letting go, staying with your safe, precious footprints. If you enjoy visual imaginings, you might leave a flower behind you as you step away from your footprint. As you move away, there might be a flower or there might be a golden imprint where your foot has stepped. You might be forming as you walk a path of gratitude, a path of calm or joy or healing or love. This very beautiful path that you create by your deep presence. Your aliveness. You step, allowing yourself to fill your footprint and you arrive completely in the here and the now. And you are free. Free from worries, from planning, free from the past. You're really here. Fully alive, vibrant and radiant, flush with life in this moment. Continuing stepping and stepping, you know that your precious body is held by the precious earth, fully supported in this moment. There's nothing that we need to carry alone because the earth is carrying us. If there is a burden or a heaviness that you're carrying, maybe pain or fear, an addictive thought or feeling, 
maybe a sense of weightedness in your heart or your stomach. See if it's time to set this burden down. Maybe it's okay to lay this burden on the ground right now. You can give this to the earth and she will receive it. And in time, she will transform it. In the weight of your footsteps, as you create your footprint, you can release any tension or tightness, allowing it to soak away from you, soaking into the earth. Any worry, any anger, any fear, any shame or regret. It's okay to let that drain away now. It's time to let that go so that your body can feel something different, can feel fresh and nourished, so that your precious energy can flow clearly and powerfully through you. With every step, letting go. Kindness in every step, knowing that it's okay to let go. Step after step, sensing the vitality in each of your steps now. The aliveness that you bring to your path. And the earth has so many gifts that she is constantly offering. As you walk, sense what gift she might be offering to you. Perhaps her sense of solidity. She has such grounded strength. She's a very solid, safe place to be. Maybe her great patience, which lasts for eons. Or her radiant joy. She can refresh herself and us. She brings delight to us in so many ways. Her ability to heal from grievous wounds and to thrive again. Or maybe her wisdom, knowing that nothing is lost, that we are deeply connected, that we are not alone. Sense what gift she's offering to you. Solidity, patience, joy, healing, wisdom. Maybe all of these. Maybe another gift entirely. And as you connect with the earth in each step, allow this potential to light up in every cell of your body. Your footprint forms against the earth and ignites this quality throughout your whole being so that you become suffused with this beautiful gift whether it's solidity or patience, sweet joy or deep healing or crystal clear wisdom. Allowing it to form a vibrant field of energy around you so that you can walk within this wonderful quality, being nourished in every cell, resonating through your whole being forming a new footprint, arriving completely, nourishing deeply, letting go, forming a new footprint, deeply present, truly free, allowing this moment 
to be released. Here in your steps, fully awake for this moment of your life. Alive and vibrant and radiant with life. Your precious body is fully supported by the precious earth because you are her. Thank you for sharing this walk with me.